Hello gamers, Mike DeZorch here, and I'm playing Fallout 4, because uh, Amazon's Fallout series came out, and it didn't suck. Surprise, surprise. I was kind of uh, worried about that, because of the Rings of Power. But that's not what I'm uh, making this video about today. Today, I am making a video about electrifying your homes, your houses, your, your structures. Now, you can get power to, well, just about anywhere, usually. There are devices that just need to be in the vicinity of where power is. I guess they, they sort of get power wirelessly. And then there are devices that require, uh, have different power requirements. But um, let's take a look at these, shall we? All right, then. Now, we have here a connector that I have placed here. Now, ordinarily, if you wanted to get power inside of a house, uh, you have to do it the, uh, well, let's just say, not so good way. It's sort of a janky way of doing it with these connectors and running the wires and everything. You would have these. And you have devices that are run off power. Now, if something is placed and it is close to one of these connectors, it'll run off power. So you see this light, you see that uh, lightning bolt on there where it says requires? And it's just so, shows that lightning bolt and it's just um, a light source, just that. And you see other things. This one's a little different. This one has a number next to it. That one has a number next to it. That one has a number next to it. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. These don't. And there are a variety of devices that have a variety of different requirements. Some have, some require it, some don't. Now, what does that number signify? Well, your power source produces a certain specific amount of power. There's a number associated with that, and that's how many of those devices that have a number on them, how many it can actually operate, how many it can power. So I'm I'm using a mod, and that allows me to have, like, butt-ton of power, but that's beside the point. These I can put as many of, as I want around one of these connectors that's connected the power and it will get power. I can have as many of these lights as I want. There's no limit on what I can have as long as I have space. And I have a mod that um, allows me to bypass the building limits for a settlement. But if I wanted to say power this and I wanted to do it indoors, well, for one thing, you can't pass a wire through the wall and if you connect a connector here let's say you connect a connector to the outside of the wall right here you can't connect one here and then have the power transfer through it doesn't work that way so what you have to do is you have to do something janky like this which is not ideal you take that wire connect it there and boom you got power <sighs> Connected to that connector and boom, there you go, you got power. But this is not ideal. You, you're you passing a cable through the window and you can't always do this. I mean, on every construction you can't always do this. So you need a way of getting power into a building without having to do this jank. There is a solution. Okay, here we are at a couple of structures that I put up for this demonstration to show you how to get power into your building. And I did not know that you could do this. I didn't know this worked. I only just recently discovered this. And I have been struggling with trying to get power into a building for a while. Now, we all know that these connectors they project out a field there's like a, a circular field all around them and whatever you put here 
that only just requires power and doesn't have a number next to it, those can basically power as many of these as we want. Now, it does not connected to any power right now, but if I do connect the power, boom, the lights suddenly start working. Now, how did I get all of this to work? Well, fairly simple. You don't even need that in there, in here. Just have this somewhere near here, and then all these lights will start working. Get rid of the cable, and they stop working. Simple. But what if you had something like this? and you wanted to power it well well look here we've got one of these here and it's connected to power it's connected to power and it's about the same distance away but it's not powering this well look here this has one of those power connectors this requires a uh, power cable to connect it but how do we get power into a building? Well, there's no windows here, and we don't want to do that whole janky thing of putting putting the uh, cable through the window. So there is a way. It it's in its in its own way it's janky too, but not quite as janky as putting something through the window, putting a janky cable through the through the window. So here's how it works. Take a floor mat, like this, take a small floor mat, put one down. Now, go back, go to power, go to the connectors, put one of these, and put it right in the middle of the pad. All right? Now, connect it with a wire. There you go. Now, pick up the pad. Don't pick up the connector, pick up the pad. Now, See, I've got a connector on the wall up there. Power connector. I want to position this right up here under there. All right. Look, the wire went through the wall. And it's not very far through the wall. In fact, I could probably get this even closer to the wall. Let's see, right there. Okay, now, I want to target the connector. Connect, and then here, to here, and boom! I have just ran power into the building without having to feed the wire through a window. And once you have one of these here, uh, you can basically wire up your entire interior. You could run wires all around outside your building and then just use the floor mat and a connector and a conduit a power conduit connector and do this trick and just pass it to the wall hide it with some furniture put some furniture around it to hide it put these up high and you can power your uh, stuff in your house and you don't have to worry about uh, running cables through windows or, or building some uh, janky architecture to try and get the cables inside the building. This is the way to do it. You just put that on top of a mat, put the mat inside the building, and voila, it works. I've even done this at the castle, the, um, the fort for the Minutemen. I've even done this. And it works. So that's how you get power into a building in Fallout 4. <sighs> if I find any more interesting little tricks and stuff like this. And this doesn't require any mods to work. This just works off the base game. If I find any more, I will share them. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I've been Mike DeZorch. And I'll see you guys next time in the Wasteland.